Good evening and welcome. My name is Sandra. My channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome. How are we all doing? Are we all doing all right? Yeah? You sure? Yeah? You sure? All right. So it is Friday evening. It is, what time is it? It's 10 to 6. So you could tell I finished work early today. Wink, wink. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, it's 10, to, it's 10 to 6 and bloody hell, it's now cold. The temperature has now dropped. We are now in winter officially. It's like, damn, temperature proper dropped today. It's like, whoo, whoo. But you don't want to know about the weather. What I'm here to do today is a birch box. I've got another birch box today. Um, I know it arrived. When did it arrive? It arrived yesterday. So here we go. Let's do the thumbnail picture. Okay. It arrived yesterday and I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm assuming this is actually the November box because Birchbox have been struggling with the logistics recently since they've come back from their little sabbatical um, and we were receiving the mumps box a few weeks into the following month so it was a little bit ugh, yeah it, not great um, some of the products we've been receiving haven't been that great as well a lot of products that were, we were you know we saw year ago two years ago five years ago just products we've seen before um and it hasn't been that encouraging nothing that has excited me as yet um the other thing with birchbox as well so for those of you who don't know birchbox it is a monthly subscription box it the price is going up from 12.95 which is what it was it's now going to be 16 pounds and i think it's 16 pounds from december even though i've already been charged so yeah 16 pounds for the december box so think about it when i go through this box i am hoping that i am going to be seeing that kind of value in there i don't want to receive 16 pounds 16 pounds worth of goods that to me is a minimum i want to receive products that are worth to me retail value at least double what I would what I would have paid for this box if I'm paying 16 pounds for a box I want the value of the items I use in the box to be 32 pounds but bearing in mind a lot of the products in here are sample sizes I am not expecting that exactly but I want to get some value so the products I receive I can say yeah okay I've got sort of my value in this box 20 pounds 25 pounds you know in value of the products that i'm going to end up using because that's the other thing the products in there it's going to be products that i'm going to use if it's if most of the products in the box are things that i'm going to sort of give away then again the box is of no value to me so i think this box and the box i'll get next month are going to be my last two boxes because i signed up to a six month contract I turned the auto renewal off because I haven't been um, impressed so far. So let's just see how this box goes, how next month's box goes, and then I'll decide if I want to auto renew or not. But I don't know. We'll see. But before I open this box, let me just give you a little review of the October box, which I received a couple of weeks back. Um, I have used one product in particular. The other products I haven't used as yet so let's go through that so in the october box they give you or in the boxes they give you a leaflet and it kind of highlights sort of three items that I'm, I'm assuming everybody's going to receive in their box so they'll give you details about three items in the box and then the other items um there's no information about it on the leaflet last time there was a qr code but the qr card code didn't give me any other information about the other items that could possibly have been in the box um, so I'm not quite sure what is happening there this box might resolve that issue I don't know I don't know if anybody else is doing videos on Birchbox I haven't seen anybody else doing videos on Birchbox but if they are it'd be interesting to see how they're getting on what they're receiving in the boxes just to see if it's if it's the same issues right across the board or some people are receiving different things or, or whatever yeah um, the other thing that Birchbox has introduced which is good they've now introduced a customization so you get an email um, sort of saying that uh, it's time to customize your your box so I got my email to customize my November box 
about a week ago, two weeks ago. So I did that and the two items I chose, well, the choices weren't that exciting. Um, the two items I chose were a Philip Kingsley sort of new fragrance conditioner. I thought, right, okay, get that. Um, and I think the other item was a lip oil from Arrow. Arrow is a birch box brand. The choices, things that were available was I think a Balance Me product. I'm not a fan of Balance Me. There was a an eyeshadow um, from Mano Kadal, which again I'm not that fussed fussed about Mano Kadal products either. It's interesting because I, I've seen Mano Kadal appearing in um, in American beauty boxes this month as well, the month of November. So it seems like they're doing a little bit of a comeback. What else was there? I can't think. There were some other products as there. There was um, another lipstick. So a lipstick like I've still got it here, haven't I? I think I have. Um, it's a lipstick that I received a shade of. I haven't got it here. It might be upstairs because I do move my products up and down stairs depending on where I am. Yeah, um, it was a lipstick that I'd received a couple months back in a birch box. I got it in one colour. They were giving another colour in this one. I think the colour they were offering was like a wine me kind of colour. The colour I had before was a berry very very similar colour so I thought well I don't need another one of the same thing um, and that was it the choices weren't exciting but no there, there were there were some choices so I'm expecting to see in this November box the Philip Kingsley and the Arrow lip oil we'll go from there right let's do what happened in, in the October box which I received a couple of weeks back so the first item is an item I should have received but I didn't get so I should have received a generation clay mask it's like a detox clay mask I've received that before so I know what the product is it's actually quite a decent product um, but I didn't receive it so can't comment on that Second product I did receive and that was from Philip Kingsley and it was a um, a finishing touch serum Haven't used that yet. Hasn't really had an opportunity to use it as yet um, Not quite sure when I'm going to be using but it's there. It will get used at some point Third product is a product that I should have received as well um, That was from balance me and it was a radiance facial oil again I'm not a fan of Balance Me. There's a, there's a few brands that you tend to find in beauty box subscriptions, which I am not fan, a fan of. Balance Me is one of them. So this is a Radiance Facial Oil. I've received that several times over the last few years. I've got very, very oily skin, so facial oils of any sort are not going to work for me at all. Unless they say that a facial oil is something that's going to be good for people with oils oily skin so it's like a dry oil that's going to provide sort of like helpful hyperpigmentation acne or something like that I don't know but usually facial oils I stay away from yeah so those are the three products that I should have received I received one of them the products I did receive so this is product number four or for me it's product number two was I got birch box eyelash curler nope no, nope, no. Nope. So I did put that in a giveaway. The giveaway has been received by, I can't remember who I sent it to now. Was it Linda? I think it was Linda. Linda B. So she has received it. Hope you enjoy your goodies. So I did put that uh, birch box curler in, yeah, eyelash curler inside that box. Next product was from This Works in Transit Camera Close Up. Again, that was a product I did put in the giveaway. Um, I just, I, I, I don't know what that product does. It doesn't do anything for me. So I just put that in the, in the giveaway as well. The next product was the Polar Hand Cream. That is a product I have used. It's a product I like. That is, I was more than happy to receive that. I use it every day, at least once or twice a day. So that was good. So for me, that was the product for me last month. Next was from Beauty Crop and it was the Fabulous Flock Mascara. I put that in the giveaway as well. Nothing wrong with the mascara. It was a full size mascara. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I have received it before, but I've got a hell of a lot of mascaras going on at the moment. Um, I've got two or three open at the moment. So I decided to put that one in the giveaway box as well. And the final product is something I did keep. It was from Vita Mask, and it was a super green three-step face mask. I haven't used it yet. I keep saying I'm going to use it, and I haven't used it yet. So it's one of those face masks that has a, a cleansing element, a scrub element, I think it was, or a serum element, and the, the sheet mask element as well, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think it's cleanser, sheet mask, and then a serum moisturising element to it, which I think is kind of cool. So it's three-step um, sheet mask. I haven't used it as well. So for me, the October box, there was just two products for me. It was the Vitamask mask, 
um, sheet mask three-step sheet mask and the polar hand cream which to me was easily the star product of last month okay Whew. breath right November's box let's go right so 16 pound box let's see if we're getting the value so it says on the side here joy what's it saying joy is being totally you it's this burgundy color the october box was green so they're making some changes in packaging at least so it's not just a standard brownie you know cardboard box isn't sealed that's what it looks like on the inside We've got a card. Okay, we've got a card with some information. So we have got information and there is a QR code. So I will try that again. So it says here, the November box is here. Yep, the November box is here. Can you believe it already is November? <laughs> going into December now folks um, with this with the holidays rapidly approaching we've packed your birch box with a collection of our favorite makeup skincare and wellness finds to send a little fun and lightness your way so you remember to treat yourself to this to so, a minute. so you remember to treat yourself to this time of the year okay speaking of the shop is stocked with plenty of gift worthy goodies for your beauty loving besties look out for new additions and and restocked fan favorites in the coming weeks have a suggestion for improving birch box yeah sort out your box sort out your prices and just have some more interesting innovative things that's my suggestion um right we'd love to hear from you send a message to our team at info at birchbox.com or tag us at, at birchbox on social media as always we're so grateful to have you as a part of a birchbox community and hope you enjoy this season's curation xo team birchbox so on the back we've got details of three of the products and hopefully i have got the products here so the first thing on this card here is so Philip Kingsley Elasticizer Therapies Egyptian Jasmine and Mandarin. This is the product I chose for myself. Um, so it's made with all natural activated charcoal, which um, works like a magnet to draw out dirt, toxins, and impurities. This mask deeply detoxifies and cleans to keep um, keep breakouts and blackheads at bay. Hey. I thought it was going to be a hair mask. It's, it looks like, sounds like it's a face mask. Deep conditioning treatment. Treatment. I'm confused because they're talking about breakouts here. That sounds like a very much a face thing, doesn't it? I am confused. Right, I am going to look it up. I don't like being confused. Is it a hair? It says t deep conditioning treatment on the on the little packet here there's enough product in here for I would say for me this will do me twice um, on my niece this would be <laughs> this would just be once but this is not something I'd use on Kayla's hair because it's really deep conditioning she doesn't need that kind of conditioning right let's have a look see what it says on the website right so Egyptian Jasmine I'm on the allbeauty.com website. It's also on Brand Alley. So let's have a look and see what they're saying here. Right, so 150 mil is £29.60 on All Beauty. And what is it? Product overview. Philip King's new limited edition elasticizer has been specially formulated with calming Egyptian jasmine and refreshing mandarin to bring a sense of happiness and joy to every beauty routine. This distinctive sweetness of jasmine inspires harmony and optimism with its calming aroma and is paired with refreshing mandarin to complete this limited edition scent. Rich and deeply conditioning. Philip Kingsley's elasticizer therapies pre-shampoo treatment. Yeah delivers a supercharged boost of elasticity, moisture and strength to your hair. So yeah, it's, it's the typical pre-shampoo conditioner. So what are they talking about here? On the card, I'll read that again. It says, made with all natural activated charcoal. Yeah, they got that one wrong, haven't they? So that's another improvement for you, Birchbox have a look at what you're writing on the cards make sure the information actually matches the product you're describing right anyway moving on <laughs> what a 
a palaver. What a palaver. <laughs> Next item we've got here. I mean, we've, it's, these are a decent amount of product, I must admit. Right, the next part is Morning Street Green Shampoo. This is the item I didn't choose. I definitely didn't choose this. What I chose was the, the Philip Kingsley and the lip oil. I definitely said I didn't want a shampoo because I don't see the point of a shampoo without a conditioner. So anyway, we've got a shampoo here. And I don't see the... Oh no, the Arrow lip oil is here. So you're set, you're going to get this product anyway so we've got the green daily shampoo from morning street um all hair types 40 mils all it says here is morning street green daily shampoo thinking of switching up to a more green shampoo treat your scalp with this gentle natural treatment and give your hair the cleanse it deserves and that's it excuse my nails i haven't done them all week but yeah there you go I probably won't use that to be honest. Um, I tend to use products that match, work together, and I don't know anything about this. It doesn't say anything about it being conditioning or moisturising, and I want shampoos that are going to be moisturising, definitely, because my hair type is very dry. Right, next product in here is Nea Bay. Yep, so we've got this it's a decent amount here so we've got decent um, we've, I've received this before as well and I'll probably keep this I think I'm just trying to think how much toners I've got I've got quite a few toners and essences which I need to work through so this may end up being given away so detox energizing facial mist toner from Nea Bay feeling extra tired lately refresh your face with this skin quench at any time of the day spray when you um, wake up after you've put on makeup or before bed made with a mixture of fruit hyaluronic acid and aloe vera this facial cocktail is sure to leave your skin hydrated and energized okay that's an all right product i mean it's a product that's been around for a few years it's been knocking around beauty boxes for a while but it's it's an, it's an okay product it's a decent product so i haven't got any issues with that at all um just not sure if i'm going to keep it or not um that's it that's as far as the information on the card goes i'm going to try the qr code again see if this qr code actually does anything this time because there's a couple more products in here they don't say anything about the lip oil which i've chosen okay so this time i've opened it up so i've clicked onto it it showed the sort of main items they've got on the card here when you click on the view pdf it opens up more so i've got more information about the products here so let's have a look so we've got a product here from kinder and i know i've received this before let's have a look I wonder if it's a colour that I haven't received before. So this is Kinder Eye Jelly Pot. I've received a product like this before, but it was a gold colour and, you know, I'm sick to the back teeth of gold coloured eyeshadows. So I'm hoping it's not that. Um, I'm hoping I've got a different colour. So let's have a look and see what colour I've got. It says... It's sealed. Oh... So it's sealed for freshness, but I don't know what the colour is. Right. I literally cannot see what the colour is. I need to lift the seal a bit just to see what the colour is. Because if it's that gold colour, I'm not going to want it. But if it's the mauve colour, I'm going to want it. I've got a feeling it's the gold colour, which I'm not going to want. I'm looking, I think it's the gold colour I've got proud pink yeah i don't want that color oh that's a shame it would be nice to have had the um the purple color that would have been just too, too good wouldn't it right so you could have had two colors you could have had um in this kinder eye jelly pot you could have received motivated mauve or proud pink and i'd got the proud pink i don't know if you can tell the color by looking in there i don't know if you can make out the colour. So it basically says it's a moisture and rich eyeshadow cream with intense pigment that is easy to build. The Kinder or Kinder eyeshadow cream has the perfect long wearing ingredients with a flexible colour that does not budge. This crease proof formula glides on smoothly with a brush or tip of your fingers. I'd use it with my fingers. Um, 
yeah the kind of eyeshadow cream is presented in a glass jar with a wide application for ease of use how to use it apply to the eyelids with a brush or the tip of your finger there you go so this is this is an alright product because I have received this before but as I said I've received a sort of like a deep bronzy color before which um, I'm you know those are kind of colors that I tend to receive a lot of in beauty boxes this proud pink color I don't think I am going to want or should I keep it I don't want to keep it and then only use it once and then that's it I need to think about this so we'll see we'll see um, and then I've got two more products in the box so we've got the lip oil which is the item I chose so let's go to that so this is from Arrow and Arrow as I said is a is a birch box brand this is really tiny really really tiny if I hold up compared to this you can just see the size it's it is tiny uh, what else could I give you a comparison of uh, this is like Keys lipstick yep so you can see it's quite little it's just a little little itty bitty bitty thing right so nourishing lip oil this lip oil adds moisture to your lips um, and actually locks it in with a blend of aloe coconut oil and sheer butter apply to lips whenever they they need an extra dose of hydration the color enhancing pink shade gives lips a subtle pink tint by reacting to the pH level of your skin the clear shade leaves a clear shiny finish how to use it apply directly to your lips whenever they need hydration we're alone or on top of another lip color yep yeah, I'll keep that and then the final product in here I've received this before it's just like a little mirror just like a birch. so it seems like we're getting a little birch box item in there so it's just like a little pocket mirror um, from birch box okay so I'll just see what it says so yeah birch box pocket mirror um, mirror mirror on the wall who is the fiercest of them all you of course pop this handy mirror in your handbag for the on, on the go touch-ups and for reminding yourself that you're the star of the show you are our cover girl there you go right what am I thinking so products in my box so I think that's my sister and niece coming yes yes <laughs> yeah it is all right okay i'm just finishing up a video hi kayla do you want to come and say hello quickly <laughs> come and say hello hello <laughs> all right right so just to go through the items in my box now so we've got the naya bay uh, facial mist toner might keep that i'm not sure we have the Morning Street Green Shampoo. I won't be keeping. I have no use for products like this at all. The Cream Eyeshadow from Kinder. It's a nice formula. I've used the brand before. Not sure about this colour though. Proud pink. Not sure. So I'll, I'll decide what to do with that. But you might be seeing it in a, in a giveaway in the future. Lots of them. We've got the Pocket Mirror. You know what? I might keep this Pocket Mirror because they come in handy, don't they? We have got the Lip Oil. This is the product I chose. I will keep it. It's that time of the year. Lips get dry. We want a lip oil. And then we've got the Philip Kingsley Pre Shampoo Elasticizer. I'll keep that as well because that will get used. And that was my Birch Box for November. Have I got my value? I don't know, guys. I don't know. <sighs> what do you think? Have I got my value? I'll let you answer down below okay so don't forget um before i go don't forget i have got a giveaway going it does end november the 30th so if you do want to enter please make sure you enter on the appropriate video and do make sure you are a public subscriber to my channel so i can see that you are a subscriber once i verify that you are a public subscriber i will put a heart by your comment and that will let you know that you've you're entered into the giveaway so go to the appropriate video which will give you details of the giveaway and i think that was the treasure tress video yes yeah, so you need to go to that video all right guys take care have a great weekend see you soon Bye.